Hello everyone. So we are going to be fixing our PS4 Slim today. Uh, it is having an issue uh, with the disk drive. Uh, there, as you can see, there is no disk inside, but it is not taking any. I will just show you. So see, there is no disk feed mechanism. There is nothing going on here. It is not even attempting to take the disk in. So uh, also this is having a problem with the system software update as well. Uh, this is a very common issue with uh, PlayStation models. So there is actually a motherboard problem and we are going to check some fuses. So I'm going to take this unit apart and show it to you like what are the things you need to check. Okay, so we have taken out the PS4 Slim motherboard now and I'm going to show you what you need to check for diagnosing this problem. So you will need a multimeter. Mine is in very bad shape. So where you need the multimeter in continuity mode. That is when you touch the two probes, it will give you a beep and indicate very low resistance. Okay. Typically less than 40 ohms should uh, make that beep sound. Now uh, I'm going to show you what you need to check on the motherboard. Uh, this is that. Uh, this is the optical drive section. This is the motor driver IC, and you need to check this shunt resistor here. Uh, you should get a continuous beep, and if you look closely, there will be some. See, there is. It is written F6001. I am not sure. Yeah, it is coming in the camera right now. So F6001. So this is a fuse. Okay so you need to check the continuity from this point to this point and if you get a continuity uh, if your multimeter beeps then you are good to go and if it does not beep then you need to replace or bypass that fuse so and on the other side just on the other side of the board you will find your uh, the optical drive uh, the disk drive controller that is this chip this chip itself does not go faulty usually uh, this is actually paired with the apu and other stuff on the motherboard and this cannot be replaced you if you need to replace this you will have to replace uh, a lot of other components that includes the apu as well since they are paired to each other now uh, here also you will find such markings for the fuse c f6201 and f6202 so f6201 it's is this one and f6202 is this one so here uh, i have checked and i have found f6202 to be faulty and it is it is not continuous from this point to this point so i will probably uh, finding a replacement and getting it replaced and if i don't have a replacement then i'm going to take a very thin wire and join the uh, two ends of this uh, fuse so this one is fine and we'll leave it as it's so after that i will uh, i will get a new fuse soldered and uh, show it to you how it looks hello everyone so as you can see we uh, have soldered a very thin piece of wire uh, in place of that faulty fuse that is f6202 and unfortunately we did not have a replacement but this is going to hold up just fine I, like it should and um, it should allow enough protection also in case anything goes wrong and this is going to burn out so uh, i think uh, this is everything that was needed so i'm going to replace this uh, uh, like the joke thermal paste that sony gives and I'm going to apply some cooler master master gel maker so to give this console a good life and i will assemble back everything and show you what it uh, what happens yeah okay hello again everyone so i've put back everything together hoping that my fix indeed works so here we go we are powering it on the console It's loading up okay as you can see it has repeatedly failed the system software so 
we are just going to select update later for now i will show you with the update process i firmly believe it is going to be successful this time okay so let us try putting in the disk and see if it recognizes it i have cleaned this by the way so makes the right kind of noises yes it's working so let us try updating the software what is it version 8.0 oh, that's the latest one let us update the system software see what happens the customer previously reported to me that this is software update was failing also so it's a very common issue when the uh, when uh, one of the fuses of the controller chip is burned uh, the system cannot communicate with the controller chip to update its firmware so that's why it happens it's restarting at the moment It's installing the update file. Oh, sorry, my phone actually ran out of battery. seems to be updated yes and we are good to go let us launch this showing you another time it's working absolutely fine the system software has also been updated to the latest version Go 
videos. Just some tips for this tutorial. So if you come across this problem, it is most definitely the fuse. It's always the fuse. So uh, uh, if you do not have the replacement, exact replacement or a similar replacement, uh, like in our case, uh, make sure to use a very thin piece of wire for this repair so because you would like to preserve the protection that the fuse was originally uh, used for so you know this kind of protections are actually required for uh, suppose if the optical drive itself ever gets shorted suppose the stepper motor or the main uh, uh, rotation motor that spins the disc if those get shorted or suppose the laser itself burns out and gets shorted so uh, those fuses are designed to protect in such kind of scenarios protect the uh, i mean the uh, disc drive controller which is not a replaceable item i mean technically you can replace that but it won't work because it is paired with the APU and you will have to replace the entire set of chips because of this kind of security. So uh, that's it and uh, yeah I hope this helps you and uh, if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.